for something to cook for dinner that's not only delicious, but doesn't take too long. Well, check this out. This is a roasted chicken sausage dish with butternut squash. And Lee Clayton Roper back with us this morning to showing us how to make this dish for dinner. And I was just looking over here as we started and said, this looks very simple. There's just not a lot involved. It is. It is. It's one of my favorite dishes. It's really uncomplicated, like most of the recipes in our cookbook, but still full of lots and lots of flavor. And even so, the main ingredients here, you're talking, you can buy these to some extent pre sliced, pre-cooked, that really saves a lot more time. That's right, that's right. The first ingredient that we use is the butternut squash. And you can buy this. This is actually the container it comes in from Whole Foods, also at Costco. And you can buy it um, already peeled and cubed. I've cut this um, a little bit smaller because I like the pieces a little it bit smaller. It comes in bigger chunks and you in cut it down a little bit. bigger chunks from Whole Foods. At Costco, it's a little bit smaller, but I cut it down to about half and three-quarter cubes. And then you just put that in your roasting pan. You don't need to grease it or okay. anything. Okay, and this is uncooked. Uncooked, okay. but, but peeled As opposed cubed. to the, the sausage, which you say is cooked in packages. It is. It's pre-cooked in packages. This is a chicken and apple. This is the one I particularly... Do you want to throw those sure. in while I'm cutting them up? That Watch would be great. Watch my fingers, though. I'm really okay. <laughs> I'll keep the them. knife away yeah. from you, I promise. I won't take away a finger. Okay. And this is the chicken and apple sausage flavor, right. which is one I particularly like in this dish. The apple goes really well with the, with the butternut squash. So and then, so you put that in the pan, and the next you just add, if you want to add the garlic, there's a spoon. Oops, sorry, okay, spoon sorry. over there. So this is just uh, how much? This is a tablespoon or two of minced um, garlic or it, just one or two cloves? It's a couple teaspoons. The full, this, again, we're doing a half recipe today. Full okay. recipe takes four teaspoons. We're right. putting in two today. And this is a mixture of chopped fresh herbs. It's sage, rosemary, and thyme. Okay, that's um, a good song. So I know we're missing is the parsley, we'll parsley and we would later. be right we'll there, be there with with our, our friend Simon and Garfunkel. Okay. So you put that in, and then basically you drizzle it with olive oil, a right. um, couple tablespoons. Put that on, you know. That's probably good. So I'm saying you add sage, rosemary, thyme, garlic, salt, pepper, and olive oil to anything, it's going to be really good. I know. It is. <laughs> it is. And then with you're adding it here, it's just the flavors blend so well. So then you know me, I always make you do everything with your hands because I like to get it That's into the fine. food. If you want to toss that up so for with, me. So with the pre-cooked... Uh, sausage and with the pre-cut to some extent butternut squash this literally is how long this takes to make outside of maybe mincing the garlic or the seasoning that's exactly right I mean, it's literally exactly meals right. and minutes now that's as far it. as putting it in the oven how Here long are we talking about thank you um 25 to 30 minutes in a 450 degree oven and you can actually cut the, the time down even more if you don't have the fresh herbs you can substitute dried right the sort of rule of thumb is one to three so if it's one teaspoon of dried it's one tablespoon or time which is three teaspoons spoons uh, fresh. And, so. and looking at it here, we have the final product. Mm -hmm. You were talking, obviously, by using the, the chicken and apple sausage. The sausage itself is even healthier. This this right. is not going to be something that's going to blow your food budget, if you will, as far as calories or fat or anything like that. Not at all. It's quite. It's a quite healthy meal. It's a quite healthy meal. So well, And really delicious, full of lots of flavor, too. There's a lot of great stuff in this great book, A Well-Seasoned Kitchen, that uh, Lee is always bringing to us. We appreciate yeah. you coming in. We look forward Thank to getting you. a taste test this morning, and hopefully people uh, can uh, save some time and have a delicious dinner. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having Lee. me back.